How's it going, everybody? Today, I decided to finally share my thoughts on Cold War. It's been just over two weeks at this point since the game has come out. This year, I kind of wanted to do things a bit different and be different from everybody else and their brother on YouTube who have just shelled out video after video about this game for the first week or so. So I intentionally held back this video until I had enough time to soak in everything so far with this game in order to give you more of an accurate point of view after some time has gone by. Especially with the campaign because I always play and talk about the story first with any new Call of Duty game that ends up coming out. So yeah, let's start it off here. I gotta say, I think it started off pretty well for this story. The first couple of missions I thought were very interesting but very fast paced at the same time. There were a couple of things that I really did not care for. And let me say this before I get started with that. I'm not going to be like everyone else and sugarcoat things. I never do that. Some people think that I'm being negative when I bring up certain things, but that's not the case. There's a big difference between being honest and being negative, if you ask me. So, I thought it took just a couple minutes to complete the first two missions. Apparently, it was like 10 minutes, which is still kind of short. Altogether, it took me less than three or four hours to beat the entire campaign. I got stuck on one mission where you are inside of a Russian military command center. That one took me a whopping two hours or so to complete, I think. But if it wasn't for that, I easily would have beat this campaign in under two hours, believe it or not. Maybe even an hour and 30 minutes or less. I thought as the story got going, there was a few gaps and it was far too accelerated to have any sense of attachment or connection to the story or some of the new characters. At one point I think I zipped by five missions in 45 minutes, so that had me surprised. Some people also have asked me if I thought Modern Corner Camp Fair 2019 was better as far as the story. Yes, I think it was. I think Cold War's campaign was overall a bit below average. Unlike everybody else, I did not like the ending. I thought it was a bit boring, to be honest. And for the record, spoiler alert, you don't get to kill the guy that just so happens to resemble John Travolta. There is a couple of different endings, though, but I just thought the one I got was boring once again. I have seen the other ending, and it doesn't make any sense to me, because then you are killing off the main characters of the Black Ops series, which makes no sense. This is the prequel to Black Ops 1. How are you going to destroy everything but yet, what, they just magically come back from the dead later on? It's just, it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not going to be any more harsh than that because it's a waste of time. If you have a brain and you have played the other campaigns and this one, you know it doesn't make any sense either. And I feel like it doesn't even connect to the Black Ops 1 campaign on top of that. So yeah, I didn't expect much because Call of Duty is not what it once was. But once again, here we are, and not a very good storyline if you ask me. But moving along to a different part of the game, let's talk some zombies. As far as zombies, it looks like fun. I've seen a lot of other people play zombies. I don't play zombies as much as them. I'm more of a campaign and multiplayer guy. But zombies... It's a bit enjoyable from what I've seen. I'll give it that. I think a lot of people would like that part of the game if that's what they are into. If you're really, really into zombies, I think you're going to fucking love the game. Now, when it comes to the multiplayer, I have a lot of mixed feelings about that. I want to like it. I really do. I was talking to my buddy Brendan yesterday before I passed out for a bit, and while I was talking to him, I realized there was only 14 or 15 game modes to pick, including the hardcore game modes. I thought that left the game a bit light. I don't mind less game modes, but I think a lot of other people will eventually have a problem with that because they are used to having more options to choose from on other Call of Duty games. So I'm not going to completely hate on the game just yet, but there's definitely some things that need to be adjusted or changed as well. The first thing I'll say this, I do not enjoy my console occasionally crashing 
when I just simply load up the game. I can tell you that I can't stand it when I invite somebody to a party. I start talking to them. I go, hey, you want to play some Cold War? And boom, my entire console shuts off instantaneously for no fucking reason whatsoever other than the fact that I just loaded up Cold War. To me, you should be entitled to a full refund when that happens multiple times. I know PC players are still having their game crash constantly. They're having their system crash. They've got it a bit worse than us console players with that right now. On console, it doesn't happen as much, but it's kind of like, come on. You guys still can't get your shit together, Activision? I mean, I've only had three games ever crash my whole system before. One was PUBG, but usually the game just crashed all the time. But on a few occasions, it did shut off my console. The second was Modern Corner Campfire from last year. And the third is this game. So, I don't understand how you can make the same mistakes two years in a row and expect people to be okay with that. It's not okay to have your game crash your console or PC. It's unacceptable. Now, from a gameplay perspective, I think the game is alright on the multiplayer so far. I think it's slightly better than Modern Corner Camp Warfare 2019. I can actually move around because there isn't mines or claymores everywhere. In fact, there's no claymores on this game, which instantly makes it better than the previous game. But the mines, it's like, okay, there's no claymores, but I wish we didn't have mines either. It's not overwhelming though, which is the good thing. I'm very happy about that. When it comes to the weapons, I still have not gotten used to the ARs besides the M16 and the AK. The aim down sight time is pretty long. I have actually resorted to my secondary. In fact, the two shotguns on the game are the only two weapons that I have maxed out. I'll go even or barely positive when I use an AR, but when people piss me off enough to the point where I bust out the shotgun, I jump up to 20, 30, 40 eliminations per game. No joke. I've done much better with the shotguns. That's probably my favorite part of the game. And that reminds me, what do you guys think about the eliminations instead of the kills on the leaderboard? I'm not a fan of it. I think it reminds me of Battlefront 4 from 2017, which is why I don't like that shit. That needs to be changed. In a Call of Duty game, that has never been acceptable to combine assists and kills, and it never will be. That shit was copied from Battlefront 4, no thanks. Get that trash off the game, I don't like that. I want to see my exact kills and deaths, and I think majority of the community would agree with that. Another thing I have to mention is the fact that almost everything is the same from Modern Campfire 2019, with the exception of the Claymores. Stim is the same, the streaks are about the same, the perks are almost the same, the maps suck, so I consider that the same, and the fucking attachment system is unfortunately the same. I don't like how they brought that back. Uh, that stupid attachment system to where you have to put an attachment on and chances are it will make your gun worse because of all the disadvantages that come with that. It's like, what's the point of putting an attachment on if it's going to do that? Why would I want to lose 25% of my aim down sight time to get something else? Why can't we just go back to how it was in the good days of Call of Duty when it comes to the attachments. Anyway, other than all of that crap I just mentioned, I think Cold War is okay. That's all. It's just okay. Say it with me. It's just okay. I didn't say it was good. I didn't say it was bad. I just said it was okay. That's all it is. It's just okay, for right now at least. But when it comes to spending money on a game that crashes your whole console or whatever, that is not okay. But you watch, a month later, <laughs> that might not even matter to me anymore because I might have this shit uninstalled just like Corner Camp Warfare. I played that shit for the first 73 days, then never played the multiplayer again. So we'll see what happens here with this game. Time will tell. But look guys, I, I know more people are going to ask, is it worth getting right now? I would say wait until they fix some of that. If they don't, then obviously don't buy it. If you can get it for free or get it as a Christmas gift, then more power to you. But for now, hold off on buying it if you haven't already. 
wait until the crashes stop. That's all I'm saying. I only bought it because there have been zero good games made, and I thought I would give it a try since I make YouTube videos. But for the average person out there, the average player out there that doesn't show content, I would hold off for now. That's my advice. But anyway, that just about does it for the commentary. I just wanted to share some of those quick thoughts to give some people a better understanding of what I'm seeing from the game so far. If you're a bigger fan of zombies, I think you would like it for the multiplayer and the campaign, you know? See what other people are saying if you don't believe me. But thanks for checking this out, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll check back with you later. We'll see you.